Hello everyone, it's good to see you again. This is Jin Teacher coming to you from Reading Town. Let's take a look at today's article. Today's article is Bat Babel. So Babel, we know, is something that uh, people say, it's kind of like a talk, but then it doesn't really make sense. So we say that babies babble, right? So they say things and we don't really understand, but Babel is a type of talking. So we know what bats are, we can see the picture, and babble, maybe the bats talk. Well, let's find out in today's article. So it says researchers or people who are studying or finding things out, so those scientists who are studying. So researchers at Tel Aviv University in Israel have discovered that the noises bats make are not random sounds and that most of the noises are arguments about food and their sleeping position in the cluster. So let's take a look at what it says. So these researchers at the University of Tel Aviv, which is located in Israel, they have discovered or they found out that the noises that bats make, they're not random sounds. Random is like they have no reason or purpose. It's just whatever sounds. So they are not just random sounds, but they have meaning behind it and those noises that they make they are arguments they are yelling at each other or they're discussing they're fighting with their words their arguments about what about food and about their sleeping position so as you notice in the picture bats sleep tightly close together and that's called a cluster so when they are close together in these clusters sleeping or eating they're making sounds and they're arguing they're saying hey why don't you move over or hey that's my food so these are sounds that they make and they are uh, with meaning behind it. So they're not just weird sounds or random sounds. Common to Africa and the Middle East, bats make various noises when speaking to various groups of bats. So here, various means different types, right? Many different. So here, uh, they're common to Africa. So they mean we can see them a lot in Africa and we can also see them a lot in the Middle East, right? So they're not rare. We can see them very frequently or easily, commonly. Uh, so when they speak, when they speak to different groups, they make different types of sounds. So this is similar to humans. So like people who speak in different tones of voices to different people. So just like how when we speak to babies, right, our voice tends to go up and we start babbling and making cute sounds. But when we talk to adults, our tone goes down and it's more serious. So just like how we control our tones when we're excited or when we're sad or when we're serious, they say that bats, they change their tone and the ways that they communicate with different or various groups. So very interesting, even animals, right, have the intelligence or they are smart enough uh, to communicate with one another, to talk to one another in different ways. And bats can do that too. And that's what these researchers are sharing with us today. Let's take a look at today's uh, comprehension questions. So the first question, look at that bat with the large wings. It says the noises bats make are considered not to be something sounds. So considered means that's how we think, right? Or we believe. So the noises that bats make, we believe that they're not what kind of sounds? They're not just any weird, right, sounds. So they're not random sounds. So random is like when you just choose for no reason, no purpose, right? It's just random. So we know that the noises that bats make, they have a reason, so it's not random. Let's take, take a look at B. It says the bats make various something when speaking to various groups of bats. So we know various means many different. So they make different what when speaking to different groups of bats? They make different uh, various noises. So they can make one kind of sound to one group and then when they see another group they make a different kind of sound. So various noises. Uh, bats are mostly found in blank and the Middle East. So where can we where can we find bats very commonly? So we can mostly find them in Africa and the Middle East. So if you've seen uh, videos of bats moving around in Africa or the Middle East, they are uh, clustered together in millions and millions of bats, right? So we can see them very easily in those two uh, places. Let's take a look at the final part of our article today. Let's choose the correct answer. It says researchers or professors or students at Tel Aviv University in Israel have conducted a study of bats. So they've been doing uh, many different studies of bats, but who's been doing it? Uh, were they researchers, those scientists who make those studies, professors, the teachers, or the students? Well, we know that it was in the very beginning of our article, it says that the researchers at Tel Aviv, so these scientists who are doing studies, they're doing many different kinds of studies on bats. 
Let's take a look at B. Bats seem to make various noises, the same noises or unique noises when talking to more than one type of bat. So we know that various means many different kinds, the same is only one, and unique means very special, very different kinds of noises. So we know that the correct answer is uh, various noises. So they make one noise when talking to this group and one noise talking to that group. And the last question, it says bats seem to make noises to argue about, to sing about, or cry about food and sleeping position in the cluster. So cluster is that group when they're tight together. And when they make noises, what is it about? Are they arguing? Are they singing? Or are they crying? Well, we know that they are discussing or they're arguing about. So we know that bats have the intelligence or the ability, they're smart enough or they can uh, communicate or talk to one another using different sounds. So how developed is that? Well, we're not sure, but we do know that they do make different sounds to different groups. So the next time you communicate with your friends or your parents or your teachers, uh, keep in mind the different tones or the way that we speak to one another and remember that animals such as bats can do the same thing. Well, today's article is quite interesting. I hope you learned a lot and I will see you again next time. Goodbye, everyone.